and uh, we were nervous, we were scared, uh, but then we decided to take this path. But I think little did we know that we've got so many people out there, friends like you, who are going to support us through this journey. And I think from the bottom of our hearts, we want to tell you that there is no way in hell we could have seen through this without you guys. You guys have been just absolutely fantastic. You've been waiting outside our office in that sun, worst weather in the world. You've been trying your best to get every little information that can help all of us see through this journey. And somewhere I think it became a journey for all of us because we're all doing the same job in our own little jobs, whether we're making movies, you're writing, you're talking about what's going on in the world. So it became a journey for all of us together. And uh, I think the verdict yesterday has been fantastic for all of us. And um, um, and uh, I think the verdict that came was absolutely wonderful for all of us, for the country, for Urta Punjab. And uh, we want to thank the court. We want to thank the verdict. But at the same time, I think uh, the amazing thing they've done is they've thrown back responsibility at us because uh, with freedom comes a lot of responsibility. And uh, now that we have the freedom to make and say what we can, thanks to the High Court, I think we have to be more responsible. We have to still enjoy doing what we do. Uh, but at the same time, now it's on our shoulders to ensure that we do the right thing so that this verdict is respected and stays with us forever. And they don't take it away from us because of our stupidities. So uh, cheers to all of us and to announce that Urta Punjab is coming on the 17th. Chaube will not be sleeping for the next uh, <laughs> many hours like he hasn't in the last many hours. And uh, so 17th, we all hope you come, watch the movie and enjoy the movie. It's a beautiful film. It's a lovely film about four lives that are going through uh, the problem. But at the same time, it is sold so magically. Chaube and the whole cast and crew have done a great job. And uh, I think from here on, it's over to them. And let them show us what a great film they've made. And on Friday, we just hope that all of you are in the theaters with us watching the film. And uh, over to Chabe. I really don't have... Um, hello, everyone, first of all. Um, I have really nothing to add to what uh, Vikas has so um, succinctly and brilliantly put. Uh, thankful uh, for you guys, and uh, thanks for coming here today. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, we're here so that everyone can ask us any questions which we haven't answered, which are still pending, which, uh, and not just questions, if someone feels like saying something, it's a good place for all of us to get together because we haven't been uh, together in one place and that was the whole idea. And uh, uh, let's just have a nice positive afternoon. Characters say that 70% of the youth uh, in Punjab is uh, into drugs. So that is what uh, you know has started. Is what I wanted to know from you was this 70% like is this uh, you've taken a creative liberty or uh, is it based on your research? Uh, it's a it's a point of view uh, that uh, was expressed uh, by a character in the film. It was that character's point of view. Um, uh, I, I stand by uh, the data that the government and AIMS has provided regarding this matter. Uh, uh, in the film, the context was that it was a particular character's point of view. And since then, we have taken note of the fact that uh, people might take umbrage to it, and we have rectified it. Uh, Alia and Shahid, Harani Rana from Times Now, the directors and the filmmakers have spoken about the censor board and the sensibilities. As actors, what do you reckon about the uh, uh, sort of uh, the cuts that were proposed, the Bombay High Court order, and do you reckon that there needs to be a revamp of the censor board? Um, first of all, anybody who was speaking uh, from our behalf was representing the entire team. And uh, a lot of times when actors come in the forefront, the issue gets skirted, you know, because the focus becomes about some one word that the actor said or some one line that the actor said. And so it was a team decision for certain individuals who will be able to represent this issue the best. I think me and Alia are still new to this whole censorship issue. Uh, there are a lot more people who have had to deal with it for a longer period of time. And there were people who were far more experienced and probably had had to go through this struggle many times before. 
and they were a lot more uh, evolved. Uh, having said that, Mr. Kashyap has just arrived. Uh, they were a lot more evolved uh, and had a much larger understanding of this issue. Um, so we chose to do it in a way which would be as balanced as possible and I think the representation was not from a point of view of what will get more, uh, you know, headlines, but it was who will speak better and who will represent the film better. And I think uh, I have to thank Anurag for doing that and uh, really uh, taking it upon himself at a time when he has a film releasing, I think just one week after Urta Punjab, Raman Raghav. And uh, it's a very busy time for a filmmaker. And I think it was very, very selfless on his part. And I want to remind people about the fact that, you know, one month before the release of a film is an unbelievably tiring, stressful, scary for the entire team. People are running from one end to, to another just to get the film ready in time, to book your uh, theatres in time, to make sure that your mixing happens, to make sure that your dubbing is done, to make sure that your promos are running in time, to make sure that you're being able to promote the film correctly, people are aware of it. And at such a time to deal with this kind of a situation is extremely difficult. And we really couldn't have done it without the kind of absolute uh, relentlessness that Anurag put towards the cause and he really took it upon himself and everybody else probably was able to go out there and do what they needed to do because of him. Um, having said that, I think I have complete… Sir, I will finish it, then I will finish it. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have complete respect for uh, the judgment that happened yesterday. I think it was an amazing judgment and I think it has provided insight to people on both sides as to how we need to move forward and uh, so I would say that I would probably agree with everything that the judgment says. But going back to the question, you as actors individually, do you reckon Sensor Board needs a revamp? Alia, if you can take See, that please. I, I just want to say something very simply. I completely agree with Shahid that whatever communication that was happening on the, on the team's uh, front was all a team, thought, effort, emotion, everything. We all were in this together. But yes, we chose to not say too much because things can be misinterpreted. But I can give you a very personal and maybe a little bit of a naive response that maybe I had. When I heard about um, the, the cuts that were suggested, my first question was to my father, but why and how? but it does not make sense. I was not able to understand. And my father, as Shahid mentioned, there have been people who have fought this and been way mature. My father has been fighting this since the longest time. And he looked at me in a way that, Alia, it is, it is something that happens, but go to the court, fight it, and you will, be, you will come out feeling very um, feeling happy because they will always be on your side. And he was very sure about that. Coming back to, again, the statement that Shahid made that I am... I, you don't know how happy I was yesterday when I got that SMS that we have passed Urta Punjab with a certificate with one cut. I was so delighted. And that just shows that um, eventually you may have to fight for things that you believe in, but um, the, with the judiciary and the court and the, uh, and the judges, we just we, we did what we wanted to do. And I feel so happy because I'm a director's daughter and to know the fact that what a director has to go through when you're saying ye nikalo, wo nikalo, ye nikalo, wo nikalo. It's like you can't, you, you don't understand the feeling is like your intestines, everything goes all turning all over. So I'm just really happy that we've reached this stage and yeah, now we can just smile and have the film release. Uh, Anurag ji. Alright, uh, this is yeah, Krishna here from ET now. One question to Ekta and one question to Anurag. Uh, Ekta, uh, ma'am, the question is, uh, have uh, uh, the, these last minute controversy, has it affected the release plans of the films at, at all? As uh, they're talking about last one month is the most tiring period for a film and it's about to release. Has it affected uh, the release plans at all? And the question to Anurag is, even as Urta Punjab has gotten a, a relief, uh, Anurag, there are a couple of smaller films with smaller banners which are fighting the same fight that you have but they're not uh, grabbing headlines. So what do you have to say about that? So, um, I think the teams have worked together, Phantom and Balaji, and we have a very interesting set of distributors who have supported us through this whole uh, turmoil and uh, I think we will be having just the kind of release this film deserves and needs and um, we won't open it too wide but it will be, um, be a pretty wide release, keeping its genre and its uh, audiences in mind. Aman, <laughs> you want to take that? It's too early to say right now. Uh, by today, tomorrow evening, we'll get a good idea. But you get about 2,000 odd screens, maybe a bit more. Uh, right now, I mean, that's the attempt. So mm -hmm. we'll know clarity by, by tomorrow mostly. Uh, hi, this is Pooja. Uh, uh, what was your question again? The question was like, okay, good. 
Yeah, yeah, the, no, the, I, I think the, it's a, the battle is far from Ofa Urta Punjab, yes. We fought and there was such amazing support this time. The support came starting with Ekta to Phantom, to the distributors, to the industry, to all of you people. So I think, you know, this wouldn't have possible if everybody did not support it and believe in the fight. There are some people who doubted our intentions, some people said that it, we are doing it for publicity, some people said we are, have some political affiliations. We have kept quiet through it all because we believed in our fight and everybody was one. And I don't think there is like, okay, voice probably was mine, but I think everybody was behind me. Otherwise, I would not have gone out there and did all that. And I have not seen this kind of a support. And I feel somewhere, yes, a lot of smaller films are facing that. I read about two films this morning. Huh? I, I don't know much Shogul, I read about one Gujarati film and one Haram Khor. And, and uh, Haram Khor is in a way indirectly related to me because produced by Gunit. So, somewhere, you know, and those films can't fight. But the good thing is they have got the letter. Very clearly, I, I saw one letter that they got, which is what we were fighting for, which we were not getting. They have got the letter that clearly says they can go to revising or FCAT. That they can skip revising and go to tribunal, which is a good thing, which is a great thing. Because with that letter, then a lot of fight is minimized. So, uh, but I think somewhere, yes, we need to change the system. And I think Mr. Jetli has made a statement in regards to that. Mr. Rajivadan Rathaur also said something in regards to that. And they have made us believe that it will happen too, it will happen soon. But the way they have said, we are hoping that it will happen this month. You know, in the sense. So, let's see that it's not like one of those promises that was made two years ago. So, it all remains to be seen. Yeah. We hope because I think somewhere they have seen the problem. They saw the problem in the sense. Uh, there's something that we have consistently seen that what happens in a fight like this, they always get, it always gets lost because it gets too political and people get too defensive and things and it kind of loses focus. And this fight was about the film and it was about what we believed in. Yeah. And I think it stayed singular and the industry joined in. And I've never seen so many people come together. And seeing that response, I think somewhere they've also realized that this, see, this industry always needed to come together. And it became one this time. And I think that somewhere has put the pressure on them. Anurag ji. Madam, you should be a lawyer. <laughs> okay. uh, no, we, my, see, what happens is, if Mr. Nel, obviously, we have humongous problems with Mr. Nelani. But, if he goes, who will come in? And what is the guarantee that someone that comes in will not interpret the existing cinematograph act and the law the same way? Or maybe worse or maybe better way. You know, the thing is, the whole system needs an overhaul. The whole system needs an overall, not just Mr. Pellan and Lani needs to be replaced, which we want to, but the whole system needs our overhaul and I think we as an industry should fight for it because it's about all the other films too in the future. In the, for the, my biggest worry becomes is when Shahid steps out of his zone and believes in a script and he's the one I remember that read the script and passed it on to Ali and said that, you know, you must read the script and do the film and actors encouraging each other to step out of their comfort zone to do a film when something like this happens and everything gets cut down. Do you, well, I don't think he will have the courage next time to attempt a film like this. So, uh, that is so important for us. That, you know, somebody goes out, steps out of their comfort zone and it's for the system to say, we are, we want to participate, we want to say something, we want to stand by it, but everybody else, make sure that it, it is communicated that way, the way we saw it, the way we were promised it. So, I'm saying somewhere it is, it is a collective responsibility. Ekta, uh, Ekta this is I know, see, there's a lot of random rumors and things. No, but that's a fact. I was part of water and I remember there's a group of people who protested against water. That group 
was formed overnight when the protest started. It was called Kashi Suraksha Sangar Samiti. I still remember that day. It did not exist the day before. So these things happen and these things happen all around. So you, you can't because people sometimes jump in. It's like some random person will file a case somewhere just because he fancies a star and he'll put a case against Shahid because he wants to see Shahid. Then when Shahid would go there, all he'll say, sir, can I get a selfie? <laughs> you know, those kind of things happen across the country. Somewhere we are the soft target. And I think somewhere we should stand up and say, stop making us the soft target. It's very easy to pick anything against someone and say that, ki yaar, inhone ye keh diya ya wo bol diya aur hum offend ho gaye. Hum to sara din Twitter pe koi na koi humko offend karta rehta hai. Anurag. Of course. With the entertainment tax, service tax, what not. We were the most taxed people. We definitely deserve to be treated with some respect by the centre, by the government, by the constitution. Absolutely. I think it's… Once a film is cleared by the censor board, it becomes the state and the police responsibility to protect the film. Yeah. Anurag ji. Anurag ji. हम लोग कल बहुत स्ट्रेस थे हमारे लिए फिल्म डिलीवर करना बहुत ये सुबह सुबह सब काम चल रहा था लगातार काम चल रहा था और सारी दुनिया बहुत स्ट्रेस रही है एंड हम लोग के पहले कि अपना काम खत्म कर ले अपने हिस्से का उसके बाद हम लोग आते हैं आपके सामने और ये डिसीजन जो है कलेक्टिवली सब ने लिया था एकता हाय दिस इज पूजा फ्रॉम सीएनबीसी मैम ये वर्डिक्ट आने के बाद यू नो बालाजी टेलीफिल्म्स का स्टॉक इज लाइक 9% अप इस उम्मीद पे कि शायद आगे जाकर रेवेन्यू और बिजनेस जो है इस मूवी से वो काफी अच्छा मिलेगा। What is your take? What is your expectation on the revenue front, on the business front? And going forward, क्योंकि 17 जून को रिलीज है, तो क्या कुछ स्ट्रेटजी आपने बनाई है मूवी की स्क्रीनिंग को लेकर या डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के फ्रंट पर? First of all, I don't minutely ever uh, follow my stock like this. If it's nine percent <laughs> up or ten percent down, CNBC, so that's why what is important is a film was made with yeah. Abhishek's conviction, and um, the only strategy now, after all the delays that we've gone through, is to release it well. As far as I'm concerned, Anurag and the team have given their best to put this film, fight for this film. Abhishek has done his best, and as far as Balaji stocks, <laughs> uh, as I said. There are enough ways to keep the stock up and I hope it keeps staying up but it's not my first and foremost concern. Okay. Anurag, uh, hi. Anurag, this is… Hi. Uh, One question for Shahid. Shahid, hi. Uh, first of all, congratulations. You know, after watching Heather, I was like, now what next? And you came up with uh, Urta Punjab. You know, this movie is a uh, segment, a particular audience. Because now the hype created so much. Uh, I, aren't you nervous or excited because kis tarah ka response milega is movie ke through because ab kafi sari masses aayengi is movie ko dekhne ke liye because of the hype which is created? Ji, mujhe ye zarur lagta hai ki jo bhi chahta tha ki film release na ho, jo bhi log the, they've actually helped the film become larger than it was originally. Uh, so I don't think it has served the purpose. Uh, on the other hand, we were very scared till two days back whether this film will release at all. Uh, you also go through a process of self-introspection, you know, you ask yourself, Ke, did I do something wrong? Was there something that was not right? Uh, then you go back to asking yourself that we have the right to express ourselves and I didn't write this film. I didn't even know there was such a problem. Uh, but when I heard the script, I felt worried. I felt worried for my brother, I felt worried for my family, I felt worried for the youth at general, if this is an issue that can strike them, then an honest film about that should be made. A film that doesn't try and color it nice and pink and blue and green and yellow, which is what we do most of the times as actors. We try and show people the beautiful side of life. Um, but if we only keep staring at the beauty, we will forget the issues that can lie in front of us, which we have to fight, you know, real life is very different. And here was a film that was talking about a very real issue, which uh, which is an issue for everybody. I don't think it's an issue for any particular area or set of people. It's, it's a general issue, but every film has to be based against some backdrop. And here was a film which was honestly trying to express itself and say, listen guys, this is a problem. These are the people who are suffering from it. See what happens to them. Don't become one of them. Fight it. 
and uh, and i felt there was a lot of honesty and sincerity in the way abhishek was wanting to make the film and that's the only reason i would do it why else would i be a part of a film which would be considered dark which would be considered uh, we don't know what kind of people want to see it we know films about drugs have not been ma made in india very often i mean internationally you have films like dallas buyers club which is, which are winning oscars or even uh, the wolf of wall street for that matter had extensive use of drugs and it wasn't even a film that was saying don't do drugs you know uh, but you know uh, leonardo dicaprio and uh, martin scorsese are probably it was a feather in their cap um, so i i never saw an issue you know and and when when i saw things go the way that they did i really asked myself and 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 you know you feel that you want to do something that is beneficial you don't ever want to do something that's detrimental um and i felt that this was a film that will be beneficial uh, in creating awareness and you cannot create awareness unless you speak the truth you know if you sugar coat things then you're not going to be able to uh, uh, let somebody it's like when you go to a doctor you know and and you have an illness and if he tells you only 20% of what's wrong with you you won't take it seriously you know it's the same thing if there's a problem that lies within society you have to speak about it honestly only then will the society be aware of the seriousness of the issue and i felt this film was doing that um so from the beginning till the end i have always said that the larger cause of this film is telling people that drugs are not good for you and i think that cause of the film is larger than everything else and that's why i did this film um i hope people see this film i'm happy that there is more curiosity for this film um there will be a lot of films that i'll do in my career which will do big numbers and small numbers and hits and flops but very few films that will give me the opportunity to participate in something that could help people or create awareness in a positive light and i'm just happy i'm a part of a film like that and i'm i'm really happy and relieved i think that's a word that abhishek used yesterday when i saw him on the news and i i so connected with that word because that was the feeling that i was feeling you know they asked him are you happy and he said you know happiness is devoid of any conflict but i know i'm relieved and i can say the same i feel relieved that the high court has passed the film and uh, that the people of the country will get to see a product that we all felt uh, was a product that 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 uh, should have should have been put out there hello this is uh, hello. manisha from blockbuster trade magazine i wanted to, to ask a question to anurag kashyap uh, do you think uh, you know it would have been a better idea to get this film cleared uh, by the tribunal by waiting a little more instead of going to the high court because you got your other film cleared by the tribunal and secondly uh, there is an uh, report on online one, today one, one question at a time uh, let me answer yeah. the first yeah. question i'm saying you skipped the entire thing why we went to the court we went to the court because we did not get the letter that officially allowed us to go to the tribunal there was okay. we were not allowed to go to the tribunal is why we went to the court and by that time we were given the letter the justice margin who was heading the tribunal was on leave so that's okay. the reason why we went to the court of course we would have gone to the tribunal if we got the letter okay and there is another uh, news today which has appeared which says that the punjab high court has asked for a special screening today at 4 pm of the film and uh, i just wanted to know what is the report all about because we are not very much well informed about no, it they have appointed a team to view the film which is watching the film at 4 pm so what ha will happen we'll know only after that anurag hi anurag, this is karmik verma here on your left okay hi this Thanks. is karmik verma here from ikarmik.com uh, congratulations to all of you drugs di maadi karne nikle the aap logo ne sensor di maadi bhi kar di uh, that's on a lighter note but on a serious note uh, you know uh, the country is also facing a huge issue in terms of uh, the age of being an adult or being referred to as an adult and that of a juvenile Uh, of course the nirbhaya case i think the debate uh, started off with that but uh, in your personal opinion and uh, especially in context with this film do you think um, the age should be revised see uh, i don't think so it's in i can give you my opinion but it's not in my hands to say that because yes one way i see it i look at my 15 year old daughter and i think that at 15 year old she is much more mature than i was at 20 so that's one way of looking at it even the judge honorable judge said that today people born after a certain 80s have are much because it's the age of information today's children have more information have more access because of the internet so they are more aware they they are seeing things like today we have kids who download and watch game of thrones because it's not a 
it's, it's, when it's telecast on television, it's cut down. And sometimes there's parental censorship where parents don't allow them to. But I know they watch them because I, I get these, I, I read these forums where 15, 16 year olds are talking about it. So I'm saying somewhere, yes, the kids are much more mature and we become extremely insecure and protective about them and we sometimes have this hard thing to accept it. But that is more, I think it's more up to the psychologists and the psychiatrists and people, I don't know, whoever, whoever job it is, to say that, okay, this is the age of people who can think for themselves now, and maybe it's come down, but it is maybe one needs to do more research and there's more data that needs to be collected. I can give you my personal opinion with my...